Welcome back to Insurmountable. We just finished Mountain 1, so it's now time to start Mountain 2. Harder Mountain. I'm pretty sure a new pool of events. Let's do it. There's only one thing to do at the beginning. Just one that we can choose. It says radiation. There's supposedly an antenna high up on the summit that's amplifying the electromagnetic radiation. You need to find out what effect it has on the amulet. Bring the amulet to the summit and then reach your goal. Okay. Um, oh, we have choosable routes. Oh, so basically we're like choosing one of the effects, one of the like negative things. And it also seems to change the reward that we get. Either event proficiency terrain or environment hmm. well let's just take a look at all the effects we have here that are guaranteed to happen and then pick based on that we have normal weather cold nights increased time cost when moving and then we can pick very rough terrain. It's hard to overcome. What does that mean exactly? Oh, Jesus. 25% more energy and time on all terrain. That's rough. Thin air. Well, that's rough too. <laughs> hmm. But at least with thin air, we can overcome that with, you know, like an oxygen mask or something like that. Something like eerie surroundings. We don't really have any... Um, equipment way of overcoming sanity loss. So I think I'm going to go with thin air. But yeah, we have issues with temperature and oxygen. So let's pack accordingly. I think I will go with the journalist. There's no particular bonus for what type of character you use on this one. But um, yeah, oxygen mask and gloves is perfect, actually. Helps us with the oxygen and temperature. Yeah, let's go. I think I'm most excited for the new events. Is that a longer pathway to that summit? I think it is. That That's pretty freaking far up there. The cliff face rises impressively above you. It all seems surreal, so incredible. The research station, the time loop. What have you gotten yourself into? Cold air flows into your lungs. And now to top it all off, you have to think your way into an experiment with an antenna at the top of this mountain. You gaze down at the glowing green stone. Even if that woman's theory is correct and the stone is charged with radiation, why would that affect the time loop? And are you putting your life in danger? I mean, yeah, I'm putting my life in danger every time I climb these freaking mountains, to be honest. You take a deep breath and give yourself a shake. Waiting here twiddling your thumbs is not an option. Better to face your fate. All right. Let's start collecting some stuff. the cave all the way over there takes a good bit of time and we would lose why would we lose so much sanity holy shit that's a lot of sanity loss do you normally lose that much sanity like is am i missing something we didn't have the sanity loss one right or did i accidentally pick it no we don't have the increased sanity loss one we do have 10% increased time cost on all terrain, though, which has the effect of making our sanity go down faster, in a way. Oh, look at our height right now. Normally, the other times we always started around like 5,000, maybe like 5,200 meters. Here we're starting at 3,800. So yeah, yeah, that is way higher up there. 
because we're way lower. Anyway. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Stop. That can't be the best pathway. There we go. So yeah, let's really watch our sanity. Oh, and I do have everything equipped, right? I mean, it was when I started, so why wouldn't it be? You stand under the skeleton of an old tree. Its exposed roots form a hollow. Um, there's some... Someone has set traps in front of it. Maybe they hit something in the hole. I think we already saw this event. Oh. No, we're going to watch our sanity. I'm not going to... I'm not going to spend sanity. You catch a scent on the wind, burning wood. You follow your nose, and behind some rocky peaks, you discover a patched, dingy-looking tent. Next to the tent, the glowing embers of a campfire emit a thin plume of smoke. You look around, not a soul for miles. I think we've seen this one as well. I imagine it doesn't get rid of the old pool of events, but probably adds in new ones. Mm. Let's call out in case the owner's nearby. No response. You call again. Um... Suddenly you hear heavy breathing. A local mountaineer with a dead mountain hair slung over his shoulder makes his way toward you. He gives you a friendly nod. Without a word, he stokes the campfire and skins the hair. In no time, the meat is roasting nicely on a spit over the fire, giving off a mouth-watering aroma. The stranger gestures to you to join him. You gratefully accept his offer. You could use some refreshment right about now. Oh, we got our energy back and some XP. Nice. Mm. Gain body temp with every consumable item. Active till end of mission. Yes. Let's use single-minded so we don't break our leg on any of those dangerous terrains. Nearby an abandoned camp, there are a couple of empty oxygen bottles. You could take the time to search the tents. We'll lose time and temperature. That's fine. Let's thoroughly search the tents. You find two bottled oxygen tanks. Oh, nice. Well, we're set on oxygen. Mm, better oxygen. Controlled breathing. Let's take that for sure. I don't think I want to go all the way over here. Do I? No. There's like, it's going to be a while till we're in the death zone. We're going to encounter plenty of events. Just heading up this way. Let's get this cluster of three all right next to each other. Very handy. I can just cross whichever ones I want because I... Oh, wait, no. We passed time, right? Single-minded is not active anymore. Never mind. Let's be careful. Bear's treasure. Loud and unusually long snoring is coming from a cave. Cautiously, you peer inside. On the floor, there's a fully grown brown bear dozing peacefully. You screw up your eyes. No doubt about it. In all the junk beside the animal, there's a packed tent that looks intact to you. Do you want to sneak into the cave to retrieve the tent? It's going to hurt my sanity. No. Shooting star. Let's regain sanity. Yes. Let's 
discover a large empty cage. Mm. Oh, we lose a bit of sanity by entering. No. Oh, do I not have the flashlight in my hand? Yeah. I always forget to do that. I should just do that in the equipment screen before starting the mission. Like, if I set it there, then I think it'll just stay there. It's not really a very good way to that treasure chest, is there? I think you kind of have to... Kind of have to come from this way. Man, we are losing temperature fast. Even with our fur gloves. Ouch. Climb up into a crooked, rickety deer stand built by hunters to survey the terrain and shelter from the elements. A pile of soft furs on the floor looks awfully inviting. You consider taking a rest. A gutted deer hangs from the ceiling. The meat is fresh and juicy. Your mouth starts to water. Nah, I'm not going to steal their meat. Let's just uh, stop to rest. Your limbs feel heavy and you struggle to keep your eyes open. Why fight your exhaustion? You feel safe and secure here. Before long, you're embraced by velvety darkness. You don't know how long you were asleep, but you now feel invigorated and bolder than ever before. Oh, we gain a lot of temperature. And pretty much up to max energy, too. But yeah, that temperature gain is really good. Mm. Oxygen or warmth? I'm more worried about warmth at the moment. Although I'm not really using a lot of consumables. At all. Maybe controlled breathing then, because I'm really not using consumables. Oh, I thought I could get through here, but I have to go back down. Dang it. You hear voices coming from behind a rock face. The soothing smell of fried food hits your nostrils. Carefully peek around the corner. Some indigenous people are sitting around a campfire passing around a jug. The brew must pack a punch. Each mouthful makes the strangers grimace in pain. You make your presence known and they wave you over. They want you to join them. Yeah, accept their offer. You open your eyes. What happened? You can't remember but you feel strangely refreshed. There's no sight of anything or anyone except for the campfire burning beside you. You slowly pick yourself up and continue on your journey. So we lose sanity and temperature, but we gain energy and XP. Ooh, I want that. That is a bunch of nasty tiles, but single-minded. Let's go. Whoa. Hunter, you hear footfalls and heavy breathing behind you. You whip around to see a man running toward you. He's clad in furs, a bow slung across his back. His eyes are full of hatred, but you're more worried about the hunting knife clutched in his fist. What the fuck? Did I wrong someone? I don't think I did anything wrong, have I? Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna run away. You run and don't look back. Just keep running, you tell yourself. You don't stop until long after the furious shouting has faded away. Finally, you collapse on top of a rock. You're panting. Every breath is like fire in your lungs. No sign of the stranger. You've escaped. 
Oh, some energy, some sanity. Hmm. Oh, minus 12% time cost on all terrain. Well, oxygen is above 60. That would be nice. Let's take that. And this cave is a complete dead end. But I think it's still worth it. Explore the fault. Flashlight. Hold on. This is an entirely new item. Green flare pistol. Calls for a traitor. You only have one use of it. So guaranteed traitor event, I guess? Let's sleep. Long. Where to go from here? There's another mountain there. Mountain, what? There's another cave there. There's also one there. There's also one there. Hmm. Where's the death zone? Show me the icon. I think the icon might be right there, or that might be just like... It's impossible to tell. I can't freaking see it. It's tiny. It's pretty high up there. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, I see another cave. Yeah, there's a cave there, and also a cave here. So if I head up this direction, I'll hit two caves. I think I'm going to go for those. It's pretty out of the way to go for this one or this one. Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to have to go through these nasty tiles again. I don't have single-minded. Mm. Jesus, that's rough. That's really rough. Might prefer to go this way, but is there even a pathway there? Okay, there is a pathway through there. I think that's better. Let's go here. Drinking buddies. There's that all too familiar smell of ethanol and herbs in the air. You listen, snoring sounds. You approach the source of the sound. Your three drinking buddies lie sheltered in a hollow, sleeping off their intoxication. Mm. Well, I can't share a round of my own drink because I don't have hot tea. I could search their valuables, which is fucked up. So no, just let them sleep. Continue on my way. Like I'm just, I keep thinking about that hunter chasing after me, angry at me. For what? I stopped at a deer stand and there was fresh meat there, right? One of the options was to eat it, but I didn't. I just rested there. I did nothing. Like, surely they wouldn't try to kill someone for just taking shelter. Oh man, our sanity is already quite low. Wait, hold on. 
Oh man, it's a lot of nasty terrain. Nasty on energy, anyway. I think that's a... Yeah, that's a dead end. I kind of have to go through it, and I can't use single-minded yet. Oh, well. Break a leg and get bogged down in the snow, whatever. Go a little out of our way to get this treasure chest. Bear trap again. Mm. It's not much sanity, but I don't know. I'm worried about my sanity, big time. Ooh, that cave's actually pretty close now. Can't remember if that's one of the ones I saw before or not, but there's also these two very nice events quite close to it. Although that one is kind of out of the way, but still. Yeah, I think that's worth it. Mm. Some really bad terrain getting up there, though. Oh, Jesus. Might as well take a more direct route if I'm going to hit that many blues. Christ. Nasty. Really nasty. Break a leg and then sleep it off. It's the way of life. Mm. Let's climb over the rocks. Takes energy, but we're about to sleep. Oh no! Injured hand. Plus 30% energy cost when climbing. Oh no, now we don't have the energy to get up to sleep. Ah, oh, we don't have any food, right? Well, I guess I could call the trader. I mean, what am I gonna trade them though? The only thing, I don't wanna give them anything. Maybe an oxygen bottle? But I kinda wanna keep these. Yeah, I guess I'll just sleep then. Dang it. My poor tent is dissolving already. Now I still have the injured hand, so this is still going to take a crap ton of energy, but... Oh well. I think we'll get it back between these two events and sleeping again. A jingling fills the air around you, harmonious and melodious, followed by the sound of falling rain. You follow the sound to discover tubes of metal and wood tied together in a bare treetop, dancing and striking each other in the wind. You catch the wind chimes and lose yourself in the fleeting melodies. You regain... Oh, sanity, definitely. Oh, we can't explore it, but we shall sleep. Pretty much maxed on temp and pretty much maxed on energy. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. Really want more consumables and equipment, but our stats are pretty good. That's a little... Oh my god, look at that energy cost. Jesus Christ. Do I still have... I don't still have the broken hand. It's just a horrible climb. That's such a horrible climb. I'm sorry. I'm not doing it. I'm already so far up. I think I'm just going to keep climbing up. Actually, it might be worth it to climb down from here. Hmm... I don't think that's worth it. I'll spend that much getting back here as well, so that's like 40 energy. I, at best, I might regain that from the event, but I don't think it's worth it. Hmm, there's a cave over here. 
I guess I'm just abandoning that whole pathway I was planning on doing before. I can see that cave over there. Oh, that's a lot of blue. But... I could single-minded it. Or just walk around it all. Yeah, I'm gonna head over here. It's pretty much a flat pathway to get to the cave. It's worth it. Cave strat. St. Bernard! Oh, search the bag. Oh my god, it's such a good event. Sanity, XP, and two items, including a piece of equipment. High quality hiking staff. That's so good. Thank you so much, doggy. Yeah, I mean, going on flat terrain, it's not that good, because flat terrain doesn't take much to go on anyway, but they're high quality, so... Put that in place with my flashlight. Mm, we get more for waking up. Let's get that. More stuff for waking up. I like getting stuff just for waking up. It's like a participation trophy. Mm. I think it's time to single-minded. that worth 15 energy and all the other stuff we'll lose well let's go down to here and then see what we can see yeah I think it's worth it Sanity is the one I'm looking for. Sanity, yes. Single minded, still active. Don't need to worry about the yellows. Then let's go sleep. Follow the smell. We find nothing. There's a storm. Energy cost for climbing increased. There's a corpse. Oh, I don't want to risk my sanity. But a cursory look takes very, very, very little sanity, so let's do that. Find some tea. Corpse tea, yay. Not creepy at all. Is it still warm? How creepy would that be? The body's cold, but the flask is so well insulated that it's still warm? Jesus. I think even the best flask, though, can't stay warm for that long in these conditions. Great. What's my pathway? That's where I'm going. We still have a good bit of height to get before we get into the death zone. I don't see a cave up in this... No, wait, that's a cave. That's a cave right there. You probably can't see it, but there's one up there. Still, would it be worth going kind of in the wrong direction just for one cave? No. No, it's not.
Spiders? I know we like pretty much always have a good event from this. We reach into the hole. It's only 2.4 sanity loss. Yeah, we get a flare gun. Calls for help. I don't know what that means. Like, I get calls for a traitor. But what does calls for help do? Like, precisely, what does it do? More body temp with consumables. Minus 20% time cost on all terrain while oxygen is above 60. Yeah, let's get that. That'll help keep our sanity under control. There's a cave just right over here. Flower. Oh, I think we've seen this before. Still nice, though. Good amount of sanity back and a good amount of XP. There's someone in here. Let's just rest. Shall I just start climbing up? I suppose so. Yeah. Oh, there's another cave over there. Hey, that's definitely not the route we're taking. No! Mm, there's a rope over the canyon. Cross it or take a detour? Take a detour. Take some time, that's fine. We're fine. Do we want warmth or energy? Well, we don't need warmth, so energy. This is a little bit different. You hear a noise coming from one of the tunnels. It sounds like the frantic bleeding of a goat in distress. I know there's probably more than one goat on these mountains, but what if it's that absolute hero goat that saved me from that mountain lion or whatever, whatever the heck it was? Follow the bleeding. They saved us. Now I need to save them. You advance further into the system of caves, following the sound of bleeding all the while. Left, right, straight ahead, left again. You walk and walk as the bleeding grows louder. Finally, behind the next bend, you find it. You can hardly believe your eyes. It actually is a goat. Its hind legs are stuck in a narrow fissure, and it's trying in vain to free itself. Yes, I can be their hero this time. You gingerly approach <laughs> that sound. You gingerly approach the animal and attempt to soothe it. It seems to understand what you want and lets you touch it. With one swift tug, you free the goat from the fissure. It rears up for a split second, then quickly trots away from you, disappearing into one of the nearby tunnels. As you also prepare to head out, you gaze brief uh, your gaze briefly drifts back to the fissure in the ground and something catches your eye. You realize what the goat was so interested in. There are some delicious looking herbs growing down in the hidden depths of the fissure. You hastily tuck them into your pack. Nice.
guess I'll sleep too. Doesn't matter if I do sh um, short or long, so I might as well do long to sleep away more of the night. Mm, 0.5 body temperature per hour when moving, that's great. Or less bad effect from sleeping under the stars. Now let's take the more body temperature per hour when moving. That's going to have a huge effect over time. Oh, there's another cave right there. Couple of empty oxygen bottles. You could take the time to search the tents. I don't mind the... Like, I've got enough temperature upgrades that I'm not too worried about temperature now. So, let's thoroughly search the tents. Two bottled oxygen tanks. Oh my god. I... Wait. Okay, I have just enough room. I need to use these. <laughs> I need to use this stuff. Um, And I need to trade away these oxygen bottles. Perhaps... Calls for a trader. <laughs> yeah, it just gives you one of the trade events. Um... She wants herbs. Okay, I wish they wanted an oxygen tank, but that's fine. Give up an herb for a tent? Absolutely worth it, but the space is an issue. But I think it's worth throwing stuff away for the case, for, for the sake of this. Or I can get gloves. I already have gloves. Let's get a tent. I'm going to need to make space, but yeah. Worth it. Um, I... Yes, I just... Well, I was going to toss it away, but if I use it, at least I'll get some temperature from it. Head down a little bit further just to get this event, and then we'll head up. Another trade? Hmm... <laughs> we just traded for the tent, and now they want the tent for... I could trade back, from a tent back to a, an oxygen bottle, or... I mean, okay, we didn't pay them an oxygen bottle, we paid them in an herb, but... Anyway. Hiking staff, already got one. Boots. Do I have boots? No, I, I don't have boots. They're insulated boots. Um... Huh... Do you think they're going to take the tent that I've already used once, or they'll take the one that's full? <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> I think it's worth it for the boots. Oh, they took one that was partially used. Nice. I wonder if that's on purpose or if it was just luck. Yeah, I think we're pretty well set on temperature with two pieces of equipment that gives us temp. There's a cave somewhere up here. Or was it? Eh, I'm sure we'll see it again. Oh, there it is. And these are some steep climbs. Wait, actually, hold on. Stop. What are we getting? Body temperature loss increased. Oh, okay, that's fine. Because our temp isn't a big concern. Because I could use single-minded to ignore the weather events. And if we had the one... I think it's... Yeah, this is cold. I think storm is the one that increases the energy cost. If it was storming, then I probably would have used single-minded. Maybe. I guess I wouldn't use it right before going to sleep and then wasting the rest of it. Follow the wind. We've seen this before. Oh, we got hit by stalactites. That's fine, we'll sleep it off. Part
part of the way anyway. We lose oxygen when moving. That's irrelevant at the moment. I don't see any better way to get up here. I think I just gotta take some steep ass climbs. Pretty close to the death zone. Hopefully the injured torso goes away before that. Ooh, mysterious stranger. Out of nowhere, a stranger suddenly appears. He's clad in furs, and his face, just visible amidst his heavy garments, looks sallow. As you approach, he proffers a small parcel wrapped in leather. <laughs> I have to open the parcel. It's my only choice. You find valuable equipment inside. You look up to thank the stranger, but he has vanished. Weird. Ooh, high quality snow boots. 30% less energy when traveling on snow. Ah, uh, yeah, that's better than the insulated boots. Hmm, none of these last the whole mission. Oh, that decreases my sanity. No, I'm not taking that. I guess I'm just getting more experience in events then. Oh no, we're about to enter the death zone and we still have an injured torso. Alright. What do I want? Decreased oxygen loss. I have three bottles though. I'm good. So I think energy is the one to go for. Yeah, between that, 35% less energy on all terrain and then 30 less energy on snow. If I travel on snow, it's going to be really cheap. I just don't want to spend time, so yeah, I don't want to search at all because that's going to spend time. Even hitting these blue ones <clears throat> with all my decreases in time, it still isn't that much energy. I could take single-minded. There are a lot of other bad tiles. Not really. I don't think I need to use single-minded. Corpse in the ice. You reach a rocky hollow half covered with glacial ice. As you carefully climb over the sheet of ice into the hollow, you come face to face with a pair of eyes staring at you. You breathe in sharply. The eyes are those of a woman who's almost completely frozen into the ice. Only her face and the top of her torso are exposed. Hmm. Jesus, do I free the corpse from the ice? It's probably going to hurt my sanity. But it doesn't seem to have a time cost. So let's try it. It's a young woman. Looking into her eyes feels like sinking into a bottomless lake. Just what happened to her? And why does she show no signs of decay? I mean, <laughs> they're frozen. Why would they decay? You shake off these thoughts as you feel a small pouch she's wearing around her neck. Carefully, the you open the pouch to find something useful for your journey. I'm sorry. <laughs> this, this just became unintentionally hilarious, both because of the why does she show no signs of decay thing, but especially a small pouch. Note, a small pouch around their neck that apparently is carrying an entire freaking thermos of hot tea how is it still hot that is like the world's that, that's an anomaly mug that's an anomaly thermos right there and is it also the world's tiniest little thing if it could fit in a small pouch around her around her neck i'm just imagining <laughs> a tiny thermos that stays hot for like i don't know weeks Months, maybe? We actually didn't take any sanity penalty for that, amazingly. I have a lot of items. It is getting rather cramped. Hmm. 
Hmm. Stop, actually. I think I should use this. I'm losing a lot of temp. This will let me overcome the cold weather. As well as avoid breaking my leg. And avoid all these nasty things. Oh, there's a cave right there. Yeah, I think I'm looking for sanity. That's really the most important thing right now. And we get sanity back. Nice. There's a cave here. There's also a cave over there. Oh, there's a cave down there. That might be a little too far. Mm, there's a fault. Explore it. Flashlight. Canned food. Oh, right, or oxygen. Eh, we got three tanks. We're fine. Sleeping away the whole day. Not necessarily the wisest thing. Mm, you gain more stuff for waking up. Let's take that. St. Bernard again! Oh my god, two items again! Best dog in the world! Okay, I need to use something. I don't... I'm not hurt. Uh, I don't need energy. I guess hot tea? I could also throw away the insulated boots. I don't think I'm going to need them anymore. Let's do that. I really am set on items. You encounter a mountaineer sitting listlessly on the icy ground. He doesn't seem to notice you. Oh, I can give him an oxygen bottle. Yeah, totally. The mountaineer gets up slowly. He bows and starts to carefully climb down the mountain. I guess that's what he needed. Glad to help. Got some sanity. Ooh, that's nasty. Let's go this way instead. Oh, that's... Also kind of nasty. I guess it's just going to be nasty. Buried alive. Oh no! rumbling. Uh, do we dig fast or dig slowly? We lose a lot of temperature with that. Um, dig fast. Okay, we're fine. Just took a bit of energy. Oh, this is definitely new. You discover a bird's nest. That is extremely unusual at this altitude. You find some herbs in the nest. Nice. Let's sleep the night away. Although, I should sleep as little as possible. The mountaineer you helped earlier catches up with you. He notices your injury and offers you some healing herbs. Oh. I'm not actually injured, though. <laughs> what injury? I decline the herbs. The mountaineer lowers his gaze. Without a word, he carries on walking. I think I insulted them by not accepting their gift. Sorry. More body temperature per hour when moving. More experience gain. 
I'm good on temperature. I have tons of tea. Let's get more experience gain. Follow a weird smell. We got some XP. Lay down and sleep. Let's actually not sleep for a long time because I don't really need, like, a lot of the energy is getting wasted if I do that and I lose a significant amount of oxygen. Hmm. I have these two things. Explore the mountain. I have two of them. Are they... Cumulative? Additive? Whateverative? Does it just pick the highest one? Which is 100% experience gain? 100% more experience gain, that is? Or does it combine them? 175%? Or what? I don't know. Hmm. Well, let's try to stay on snow as far as I can. Can't avoid this little climb here. This little big climb. Yeah, that's not a dead end, so if I go over there, I could nab that. Oh, I have to go all the way down again? No, not worth it. Sticking to snow. Nice clear day. Oh, look at the view from up here. You can see the whole map. Your heart races as you haul yourself up to the summit. You did it. Finally. You immediately take a look at the structure. A steel mast rises into the sky, and metal wire supports the large struts that sprout from either side of it. It's definitely an antenna. You move closer, taking out the amulet. The stone in your hand pulses strongly, evenly. The wires on the mast begin to vibrate, and you hear a humming sound. It's quiet at first, but then starts growing louder and louder. It seems the young woman was correct, at least about the radiation. It's strong up here. But is it strong enough to stop the time loop? Deep in thought, you lean against the mast. Then you notice a few strange notches um, on one of the metal struts. You scrape away the ice. No, those aren't notches. They're letters. People have carved their initials into the steel. You gasp in surprise when you see your name right there alongside the others. What does it mean? Why can't you remember reaching this summit before? This whole thing is getting out of control. You have to get back and confront the mysterious stranger. He's boost to everything. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't surprise me with the whole time loop thing. And also that person we saw holding a teddy bear, the little kid, where he's like, you've helped me, I'll help you. Like, there's definitely some, you know, we've already done this before, or there's copies of our bodies all over the place, or whatever, you know. The normal kind of things you have when you have basically time travel of a sort. The way out of here is... Well, it's not that far. Maybe half the distance compared to where we came from. 
It's going to be a while until we're out of the death zone, though. We are high. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we can go directly there. We kind of have to go off that way. Oh, I get less um, time cost if my oxygen's above 60. Let's keep it above 60. over there. I don't have the energy for that. Actually, I have canned food. I think that'll be fine, but maybe there's also a more efficient route. Let's see. Eight. Eight. That's the same. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that'll get me there. Explore the fault. Ah, it can only take what energy you have, and I have almost no energy, so <laughs> it's barely going to take anything. Use my flashlight. What the heck is that? Wind charm. <gasps> Does that go into these slots? I've wondered what these have been for. Um, plus two oxygen per hour when moving. Plus two oxygen change per hour when resting. But, oh, it's a trade-off thing. We get more oxygen, but we lose body temp. Okay, well, body temp is really not an issue. I'm basically maxed on it, and I have four Ts. So, yeah, let's take that. My first charm. I didn't know charms existed. Slipping under the stars is better. I guess I'll take under the stars. I don't really like the other ones. Let's take energy. I really don't think I need this. I'm pretty good. The only thing I wish I had was another tent, but that's about it. I think at this point we can just start just like collecting XP. We're pretty well set. Yeah, I feel like I pretty much won. <laughs> Exist not that far. We're great on everything, really. Yeah. 
take single-minded to avoid all these nasties. We still have Explore the Mountain, giving us double experience. Abandoned Relay Station. Let's... Mm, don't want to spend time. So we get a broken or injured leg and a green flare pistol. Injured mountaineer. Try to help him or, oh, I can try to treat his injuries because I have a bandage. Let's do that. Probably guaranteed good outcome. You clean his wounds and use one of your bandages to bind them. He opens his eyes and looks at you, bewildered. His strength appears to be coming back, so you help him to sit up. He's very grateful and shares his equipment with you while assuring you that he will be alright from now on. Well, thank you for your boots. I'm not gonna wear them, but yeah, thank you. Just, I'll take them to be polite. Northern Lights, Sanity, and XP. Hmm. Or body temperature while moving. To storms, we have increased energy cost. Out of the death zone. Mm. Ice wall. We can check the slopes. Approach the camp. Let's approach the camp. Uh. Oh, right. One of the people from the camp hit me on the head, of course. Thank you. The goat again. Follow the bleeding. <laughs> Sleep off that injured leg. It's gone. again. <laughs> there was some tea in the nest. Oh my god, my inventory is literally full. Okay, the only thing I want at this point is XP. Dead deer. Stumble over the corpse of a deer with no signs of decay. The animal died only recently. The remains of chewed herbs cling to its snout. Oh, right. I can cut it open and get the herbs. No, thank you. Look at this cave in this little cubby hole. It's like the location itself is sheltered from the wind. Explore the fault. Use my flashlight. We get a high quality warm cap. Sure, I'll put that on, I guess. I don't know, our temperature's pretty low. Let's use a couple teas. Mm. 
These two have downsides as well as upsides, so let's just take under the stars. Get back of warmth. So many events, I love it. Backpack, follow the tracks. Got some XP. Hot spring. Steaming hot, I think this is new. Steaming hot water bubbles out of a crack in the rock into a stone basin below. You dip your fingers into the milky pool. It feels warm and soothing. A hot spring? You didn't expect to find any volcanic activity on the island. But then this whole region's full of surprises and inexplicable phenomena. Maybe the occupiers kept the island a secret in order to exploit its unique properties? Or maybe they themselves are responsible for these phenomena? You don't have the answers to any of these questions. You have to push onward to scale the summit. That's why you're here. All the puzzle pieces will come together once you're up there. You're sure of it. But first, you want to stop for a rest. You can't resist the chance to take a hot bath. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Stop. Pile of garbage. <laughs> you stand in front of a fissure, completely befuddled. It's full of empty cans, torn clothing, and other junk. A sharp stench fills your nostrils. Someone has left a pile of garbage here. Oh, I can waste, like, all my temperature searching through the garbage. Just like a real nasty girl. Let's do it. You hold your breath as you rummage through the garbage. There's human excrement mixed in here. Ooh. You gag as you pull the half-decayed head of a goat out of the pile. I hope it's not my goat friend. Someone must have decapitated the poor creature. You grit your teeth. Finally, you find an old backpack full of equipment. You're in luck. The equipment is still intact. Climbing axe. Cool. I'm discarding it. In other words, <laughs> I'm throwing it into the pile of garbage. <laughs> oh... Use a couple items. Okay, hold on again. Let's use single minded. Disembodied hand. Search for the. Wait, we haven't seen this before, have we? You can see something sticking out of the snow a few feet ahead of you. As you approach, you feel a chill run down your spine. It's a human hand. The skin has gone gray and leathery. There's no sign of the rest of the body. Yeah, let's search for the rest of the body. You dig around in the snow looking for other body parts or anything that might provide a clue. Nothing. Maybe a wild animal found the hand and dragged it here? You spot something catching the light in a recess of a nearby rock. You investigate and find a knife, its blade dull and stained. Maybe this was used to sever the hand? Sadly, it's unusable now. Ugh. Unknown fruit, eat as many berries as I can. Yes, tons of energy. Explore the tunnel. Use my flashlight. Oh, we find a whole freaking tent. Oh my god. Some food. Oh, eat it. Yes. No point in sleeping now. How could I sleep when I'm so excited over my new tent? 
Let's break our leg 20 times going over here. Wait, I still have single-minded on. We're good. Diarrhea? Oh, is it because of the berries? Your stomach rumbles and your guts suddenly start to cramp. You only just managed to pull your pants down in time to empty your bowels. Hmm. Ignore it. Stop to rest or chew on some herbs. Let's chew on some herbs. It doesn't take long for your digestion to settle and you're able to continue your journey. Oh, it's only offering me two this time instead of three. Is that because I've already gotten so many levels? Hmm. Warm thoughts. Okay, we're about to end the level, but I want to know what the red flare pistol does. It says calls for help. I don't know what that means. Oh, mysterious stranger. So that means you just basically get given good stuff. Maybe it's like the St. Bernard one as well, perhaps. Okay. Let's go. I would call that an amazing success. Ooh, red glow. Exhausted, you crawl into a narrow cave. You're safe here. As you descended, your amulet grew hotter and hotter, its color gradually shifting to yellow. The stone was soaking up the radiation like a sponge soaks up water. Wait, why is this gradually shifting to yellow? It's clearly red, isn't it? Oh, now it has turned to glowing red. You're starting to worry that the amulet will burst when you hear a shrill siren in the distance. Time will be reset soon. Will the radiation be enough to break you free from the time loop? You'll have your answer soon. Well, I mean, I think clearly not. Otherwise, this would be the end of the game. And it's obviously not, because there's a mountain three. Oh, we got so much XP. I'm guessing we got a lot for levels. I'm looking for it. Where is it? Level up, gain 14, get 840 XP for that. Nice. Oh, we get 10 more capacity. Unlocked torch bandage and the flare pistols. So we have a lot to talk about. With the uh, stranger, I mean. Or stranger? What is their... I can't remember their name. Like, their nickname. When you wake up, you immediately look toward the... Mis oh yeah, they're all called the mysterious stranger. Her expression doesn't reveal whether your attempt to reverse the time loop was a success. Excitedly, you tell her about everything you saw, including the initials on the antenna. You want to know what it means. Can't you see? You've already been up there at least once. Probably multiple times. We've met each other many times, too. Out there, and here in the station. But you didn't believe me. It's only since you've had the amulet that your memory lasts past a single time loop. It allowed you to regain consciousness, and now you remember everything. Doubt gnaws at you. Wouldn't it be better to just forget? The pain and the fear of being trapped here forever? Why didn't the stranger tell you everything right from the start? And what might she still be hiding from you? I know the situation we're in is no easy one. I wanted to give you time to get accustomed to it all. You know, it took me years to understand all of this. The importance of the stone, in particular, remained a mystery to me for a long, long time. It's the key to this prison. Prison? You swallow hard. Does that mean you scaled the summit with the antenna for nothing and you're still stuck in the time loop the stones overheated just as it should be but it didn't break the time loop please give me time to think about this in the meantime you should probably go train some more it's not over yet get okay, team upgrades terrain knowledge it's gonna improve protection from terrain interruption events Environment knowledge. 
just get some random ones. They're all good. 200 points for every character. Mm. The night ones are still so freaking good. Gives you plus three body temperature per hour when moving at night. That's really good. That's really good. Okay, scientist. This gives you bonuses for moving on certain types of things. Hmm. Yeah, those are nice. Whenever you wake, gain 10 more energy. I mean, that's great. Yeah, that one's very nice. Just better stats in general are nice, of course. Yeah, let's get more energy when you wake up. And then for the journalist, let's get reduced energy cost on all terrain. Although I'm very confused about that. It says reduced energy cost on flat terrain. And then below that says 0.5 less energy cost on all terrain. Does that mean all types of flat terrain? Or what is that trying to say? <laughs> I don't know, but either way, it's good. And it leads to other things too. Ah, oh, there will be plenty to configure for the next mission. But yeah, I think I'm going to end it there. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when we return, well, we have all of these missions to choose from.